Hi everybody, I thought I'd make a quick video here to show people who are looking to install, to add Google Fonts to their website. Show them how to do that in Brilliant Directories. Okay, so I'm on my home page here and I've got the, uh, the home page thing here where you can look at the widgets and what have you. The piece of text that I did with the Google Font is this one here, the heading text. Um, and the way I did that is this. Um, first, I need to, okay, so it's a two-step process. You first need to import the Google font that you want, and then you need to find the uh, CSS code for that piece of text. So we'll start off with importing the Google font. And uh, for that purpose, I need to find the font here in Google Fonts, which is google.com fonts. And then I need to go to the page, the, um, sorry, here on this tab, this page that shows my main CSS, which I find under here. That's that page there. And on this CSS page here, right at the bottom, I will be importing the Google font into the main CSS file there. So first of all, I go to Google fonts and I find the font that I want. For example, here you've got all these wonderful uh, search little things here on, on Google. Let's say you want a thick slanted font or something like that. So we'll just there. Okay, let's say I wanted this font and I'll have a look here. Uh, It'll show me all the styles for that font. So we got normal 400, bold 700, and then the same thing again in italic. And let's say I wanted to use the bold ones, bold 700 italic here. I go to quick use, and it'll give me the font. So the one I want is that one, right? Scroll down the page a bit and I can either add this to the top, this line here to the top of the page, or I can import it. There's the import. So I just copy that and go here and import it. There, there we go. Save the page. Okay, so now yeah, it's called Volcorn here, the uh, font. So I'll just save this page here. Right, now the CSS is imported. All I need to do now is go to my page here that I want to edit. I'll just have a look which widget that is that drives that thing there. And I can see it's called Full Chain Search Home Page. So I'll go to that widget. And here's mine here. I'll edit. See, I've just made a copy here in case I cock it up. Then I can just recopy the, reuse the original. Okay, to find this thing here, the CSS, I go to my normal Google Chrome thing here, and I can see it is called h1.homepage, right? Can you see that up top there where it's changing on top there? H1.homepage 975 by 75, it says. Okay. And here it is, hero table h1.homepage. So that's what I want to go and look for. And uh, oops. This is my full ch search homepage widget again. So here the thing I'm looking for is, oh, there it is. Okay. So at the moment it is set to font family droid, which is what I'm showing now. I'll just change that to, oops, I'll just take this off here and what was it called? Falcon. So font family, font family. Put in the um, oops, full corn. Um, and 
it was font weight 700, the one we imported. Maybe I should fix my typo there. And it was italic. Okay, so I'm just going to save that. And it should be using that font here now. I'll just close this here, hide the widgets. And there you go. It's using the font core. That's all. Hope it helps someone who wants to use some of the really nice Google fonts. Cheerio, bye-bye.